my head's kind of spinning and I feel like I can see the whole universe. But it is kind of yum. Hello. Welcome back to a vlog. As you know, I only vlog on days where there's actually exciting things going on and today is that day. I've got three exciting exci exciting things? Maybe that's a relative term. They're exciting to me. Firstly, I'm going to go try an iced coffee for the first time in my entire life. I don't drink coffee. I don't like the taste of coffee, but I really wanted one. So we're going to go do that now. Secondly, I'm making gluten-free fried donuts today with chocolate pastry cream and I'm filming a video for that and I want to show you the finished products and me eating them all. And thirdly, probably the most exciting thing is I'm meeting a bunch of gluten-free Instagram people to go to a restaurant that serves gluten-free waffles <laughs> in South London and I'm so excited. I think I haven't met anyone new since before the lockdown, <laughs> in person that is, which also makes me feel a little bit anxious. Like how are you supposed to act around a group of people anymore? I don't know, we'll see how that goes. But first I'm going to pop down to my local cafe, see if they do an iced coffee. I think I'm going to go for an iced mocha because, wow, I like chocolate and I feel like that will be a Nice introduction into coffee, if you will. Perhaps the beginner's coffee. I'm probably gonna hate it. Well, oh, let's find out. Good morning. Um, random question. Is your chocolate powder gluten-free? Sorry. <laughs> I had to go with coconut milk because I don't have almond. I usually drink almond for no reason. I just prefer, just prefer the taste. <laughs> Hi, first one. Oh yeah, I think my brain fooled myself into thinking that this was gonna just taste like a nice chocolate. Um, you know what? It's nice with the coconut milk. I love coffee flavoured cakes and I love affogados. You know, coffee might just not be for me. I reckon I'm going to be pinging off the walls. Like I'll drink it, but I probably won't ever get one again. <laughs> it's crazy because it's just like people love iced coffees and I just want to be on that train. Like all of the fun flavours that Starbucks have. I wish I could live that life. I think I've reached a good spot of chocolate so it's a bit nicer. Anyway, let's make some donuts. I have to admit, it's kind of growing on me. My head's kind of spinning and I feel like I can see the whole universe. But it is kind of yum. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually have caffeine. I think the most caffeine I have is like a cup of, cup of green tea in the mornings. But this feels, this feels like I'm ready to go. This feels like I'm really ready to go. Right. I think I'm going to stop drinking this now. So I'm going to set up for filming a recipe video and the way I do that is usually first tidy the kitchen because <laughs> it's a mess and then I measure all the ingredients out so that they are ready to go. Then I'll set up my camera, then I'll start filming. Okay, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Alright, so I have laid out all the ingredients. This is for the donuts. This is for the pastry cream. Now I've got to set up my camera, which will go here. Okay, and there we go. So this is what I use. I have um, a Canon EOS M50. Um, let me just press this button. There we go. There's, oh, oh, no, that's my photos from last night. There's me. Um, and I, I attach a little Rode microphone because the camera audio is pretty bad. So yeah, so this is my setup. I'm gonna tidy it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start filming now. And then a bit of a lull. Oil's heating up for the donut. Donuts are in the freezer. Pastry cream's in the fridge. We're all good to go, but I'm just waiting for the oil to heat up. I thought, so rude to talk to mouthful, I'm so sorry. I thought it would be cool to show you 
a couple of things that my work got me for a leaving gift. My last day of work is on Friday, but they sent through a couple of gifts. Let me just get it. Basically, they asked me what I want, and I said some cookbooks would be cool, and I sent through like three different cookbooks that I had an eye on, and they got me all three. <laughs> How cool is that? So firstly, this one's Japanese patisserie. It's not really Japanese, it's like Japanese inspired, but it's some absolutely beautiful things. Um, and there's some really cool information on how to do like patisserie techniques in here as well. Like it's absolutely gorgeous. Like look at that. Who can make that? It's amazing. Next one I got, sweet vegan treats. Um, obviously neither of these two are actually gluten free specializing, but, but I reckon you can still learn heaps from books. And I especially wanted to get this one because I really want to learn how to bake vegan things as well. I can do a few things, but I think there's a lot to learn. And you know, I'm always of the idea that if you can make things accessible for everyone, then that's better. And then the last one is a gluten-free book. This is called Patisserie Gluten-Free, which is an American book. Um, it's amazing. It looks super cool. The only slight criticism I have is that all of the recipes use a very particular flour mixture um, that you can only buy in the US. But it does give you the option to make your own. I'm going to give it a go with just the Dove's gluten-free flour mixture over here and see if I can tweak it to make some things. But yeah, there's everything in here, like all of the classic patisserie cakes, as well as more information on techniques and stuff like that. Look at cat's tongues. <laughs> but yeah, how cool is that? Sounds like my oil's ready to go, so I'll be back in a sec. Just finished the donut video. Here are my donut, or oh, here's half a donut. Here's a cuter one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm almost running out of time. Managed to do the dishes. Now I'm gonna go get ready for some waffles. No idea why I choose to wear these stupid glasses, but I'm off. Going to a place called Utter Waffle. Um, it's in Hearn Hill, which is about a 40 minute journey away. It's nothing, nothing. So yeah, gonna hop on the district tube to Black Prize, South Eastern Railway or something, I don't know. This isn't interesting. See you when I get there. <laughs> Just got back home, had a shower, got onto my cozy clothes. As you may have seen from the videos traveling to and from Utter Waffle, um, the football's on tonight, <laughs> the final. So it's the Sunday the 11th of June and it's the final between Italy and England. I personally have uh, no attachment to who wins the game, um, but my goodness, I don't think I've ever been in a place that is so, like, intense about a sports game i mean even if you just walk outside now you can just hear people having parties like game hasn't started yet but you hear people having parties like singing that bloody song <laughs> but i am gonna watch it tonight so we'll see but anyway absolutely delicious food at utter waffle i would definitely be going back i had the vegan chicken what was it called it was the it was the ve vegan fried chicken one it was absolutely delicious it came with like rocket pickles cherry tomatoes like a sort of maple syrup or honey or something oh and then for dessert we all shared um the three different ones that we could have and they were also delicious i'm still so full <laughs> i don't know if i'll be needing dinner tonight and 
fantastic waffles made even better by a fantastic company. It was really nice to meet Georgia, Alice and Becky. I've already met Shan before briefly, so it was really nice to see her again. I'll pop their handles in the description box below if you'd like to see more London-based gluten-free foodies or gluten-free. Also, so nice to go out for lunch with people that are also gluten-free. Like, it's totally not awkward at all. <laughs> I didn't even look up the menu beforehand because I knew we were all going to be gluten-free and someone had picked it. So it's just like the most validating experience on top of that we're all on instagram so we're all taking photos of our food no absolutely no judgment there as well either that was a really wonderful time so i'm gonna sign off for the night now because i'm gonna go watch the football maybe go to sleep i've got some pretty bad period cramps at the moment if you wanted to know so that's why i'm on the cozies get under a blanket watch the football because I feel like if I didn't watch it um that'd take away my visa so <laughs> thank you so much for watching this vlog let me know if you want to keep seeing things like this I really enjoy making them um on days where there's actually fun things <laughs> usually my day is pretty samesies but <laughs> today was a good one hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in the next video bye